Hi. Yes, this is Katie. Hi. Um, Hello. I spoke with your agency about sending over a motivational speaker to help me with some training for my associates today. Oh, God. Ah. Wow. The only way those could be yes. worse is if they were jorts. Well, there's a young man yeah, that's true, him. man. Some form-fitting jorts. Be a celebrity <laughs> it's not often that you see a training video that's 18A. Yeah, that's yeah. What you thought that I just for nefarious bulge. Great. <laughs> Thank you. Funny thing is, that's not even wardrobe. He showed okay. up to the shoot dress like that. It yeah. looks like we'll be working together today. Doug? I don't know why you couldn't have just gone to my website. I have hundreds of clips posted. Hot. Oh, oh, oh whoa, nice cut there. <laughs> Jump cut. speaker? Wow. I am motivation. And the weird thing is, that never happens in the awesome. video again. <laughs> yeah, for some reason they figured out the editing software like five minutes in. <laughs> they didn't just bother going back and, you know, sort of making that a little better in Premiere or whatever the hell they used. Put a fade cut in there, put a dissolve. Yeah. It's gonna be the best training video ever. Is it gonna be the best training video ever? Oh, I hope so. Because it definitely looks like you got Kevin Smith to do your editing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, all these games and stuff. Remember when this was a thing? We we didn't have game crazies in Canada. Oh. I'm here to welcome you to the team. Actual associates. Yep, they're the real deal. They're the actual thing, and from their acting, it is definitely apparent. <laughs> Just imagine how much worse it would have been if they got community college acting students. <laughs> you know what? Special effects still better than X Men Origins. You know what? This actually a better performance than X Men Origins. Uh, a lot of things can be said about this and the qual compared to the quality of X Men Origins. All of them probably positive. X Men Origins was dog shit. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> Game was good though. What's really funny though is that uh, in this like older uh, X Men cartoon, Wolverine actually had an Australian accent. Yep. A little odd. Had a bit psychotic. But he does. Oh, this Wolverine. <laughs> I'm Wolverine and I'm from Canada. No, the part about getting out from behind the counter and getting on the sales floor. They they just look so awkward. They're just like, oh, what's what's going on? This guy's really selling it, though. I know he really wants the part of Wolverine. Alphabetically. Do you ever find that, like, after watching a bunch of these, you're actually way better at customer service? Okay. No, actually, I think I'm actually a little worse. <laughs> it's actually been oh, detrimental. Sounds like crap. That customer needed help and had to. Go Although I will give them this, they they, they call them customers Someone and not fucking guests. Freedom, not guests, not you know, baseball. our lords and masters. Because <laughs> like every fucking company nowadays, it's like, oh, you better treat your customers like guests, because they're guests at your store. No, they're not. They're there to buy something, not, like, nope. hang out and fucking, like, play Mario Kart or whatever. Although, that might be they're a customers. thing. They're customers. Yeah. They're, they're walking bags of dollars that you need to siphon off. Yeah. Revolutionary Road? Yeah, I sure do. It's actually right over here. Great. Great. Good. Oh, yeah. I totally do have this movie. Oh, no, not that guy again. Oh, no! <laughs> He's back! Gone. So long, Doug. We hardly knew you, and we're only four minutes into this. I know. It's how long they were able to keep the gimmick going. Have you seen Confessions of a Shock Pollock? Oh, no. Great movie. It has Isla Fisher. Oh, no. She's currently dating Sasha this is Baron just... Cohen, who's going to be in the new Bruno movie. It's such a great romantic comedy. Ah! Oh. Yep. That's the thing. This is a movie that most hey, of us have seen. Brain. Where your butter knives at? Hello. I've actually been meaning to watch it, and I just haven't yet. And this, this, this performance makes me not want to watch it at all. This is actually pretty accurate to the movie. Oh, oh, okay. So, thank you. Yeah, no problem. Juno's right. Let's let's see it done the correct way. Have you seen Confessions of a Shock Pollock? I gotta say though, man, compared to the the fucking Siskel and Ebert one, oh, this is this this is actually like fucking brilliant and like Hitchcock compared to the Siskel and Ebert one. 
I mean, even for a training video, I gotta say, when I was watching this, I don't really have a beef with it. Yeah. It's actually okay. It's pretty okay, except for Doug here. I think they could have done without Doug. I mean, but Doug is the heart of this whole production. True. You need Doug. You can't not have Doug. <laughs> Without Doug, this would just be this lady telling us how to serve customers. Well, you know what? That might actually be pretty effective as a training video. Surprise, surprise. Oh. oh. Cues from the customer, huh? So I see that you're a sassy pregnant teen. <laughs> hey, sport, how's it going? Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Just looking for something to watch this weekend. I eat, drink, and breathe sports! Sports is awesome! Sports is my entire life! Sports is my reason for being! I am so sports I carry around a basketball. I am so sports that without sports I would probably literally die. Without sports I would have to read a book. Oh my god. Ugh. She's super duper into Irish soccer. Certain characters on them. All of these cues can give Perhaps you'd uh, you'd like to see where can Ned Divine? For perhaps I could show you perhaps Oh, I I don't know. Schindler's List, perhaps, or how about Rosemary's Baby? How about Zardoz? Totally beyond lame. This is why you don't work at a video store, man. <laughs> I'm looking for a movie for my kids. Have you seen Zardoz? Oh, I know. My name's Kalon. <laughs> this is my impression of you. <laughs> it's no wonder I left Blockbuster and Jane. I love that movie. <laughs> You left because he showed up dressed as Juno before Juno even came out. <laughs> My boss was wondering what the hell I was doing. I'm like, no, no, this movie's co totally coming out. Watch. Asking. You're all like, bleesh. <laughs> just whamming Juno in the back of the head there. If you really want to get inside a customer's head, you have to take psychological classes and uh, pretend to know a lot about a man who had some really serious mother issues himself. Get to the the heart of their deep seated issues that are why they are renting movies on a Tuesday afternoon instead of being at work, and instead instead of watching literally anything else, you're getting The Office. Why? Are you into like cringe inducing comedy? That's actually my favorite pickup line. Just like, oh, hello, you're fairly cute. Are you into cringe inducing comedy? And then I eat a live chicken. <laughs> Stuff. It'll work. It's a good punchline. So, yeah. Now that we talked about It'll work coach, someday. Yeah. Let's talk about engaging One day. the customer. I think we should also engage the customers. customers engage them. Cool engaging so the customers. Beep boop. Engaging hey, customer. We are oh God. Yep. My name is Borat. This is relevant. I'm a coach. Hello, my name is Borat. I had a relatively funny movie and now I'm driving everything into ground. Yes, it's nice. Okay. This. This is a terrible impression of a British man doing a terrible impression of a uh, person from Kazakhstan. <laughs> this is just layers upon layers of no. Yes. Just no. It's awful. They rented a live chicken for this training video, I know. by the way. It's so weird! They chased that chicken around forever! <laughs> that was four days of filming. <laughs> Listen up, people. Listen up, people! I'm gonna teach you how to listen actively. Oh god, murder eyes. No, oh, hello. It was a holiday movie. Yeah. Easter. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. Was it All Hallows? Was it All Hallows? It was part four. It, it might have been All Hallows. The little woman in it, and she was paired with the big man. Oh, that was Vince Vaughn and Reese Witherspoon. The movie. Oh! Was I'm surprised she actually managed to get that. Like big man, small woman, The Incredibles? I think one movie will probably be enough. My grandkids. <laughs> That's right. That's yeah, they do. Yeah. yeah. Fat little bastards. <laughs> Seriously. But they did say on the weather report that it. Oh my God! Rain. My grandkids. How dare that? How dare it rain? They might like melt because they're made out of sugar. Can't let your kids outside when it's raining. It's like getting a mogwai wet. Mm. All of a sudden, they just start butting off and turning into horrible little monsters. Or teenagers. 
she's it's awful. Really listening. And she's it's really it's crazy with this one how they're right like here, pushing the Wii like crazy. I they know. Must have, they must have like only got licensing from Nintendo to mention their <laughs> shit. Hello. Or Nintendo's just like. I think it's really important that we target the demographic of the few people who will watch this video. <laughs> Absolutely not. Very nice. She wants me. High five. I will say this. At least he gets into character something fierce. Oh, he's 110% committed. Committed like a mental institution. He might need one. Absolutely, man. That movie was awesome. Oh, Have you yep. Played the Black there we go. Have you guys played- Man, that video game was the fucking tits, man! It was so awesome! Metal Gear Solid 4. Mercenaries 2. Oh, man! Man, I love the way- I always name games by the subtitle as well. I never call it Mercenaries 2. I know you're gonna love it. So, Little Big Planet is pretty much similar to Metal Gear Solid 4 in Killzone, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, you- they're both cartoony platformers. There was a Metal Gear Solid level. There was, actually, that yes. That somebody I, made? <laughs> that, no, that was something that Konami made, man. Was it? Yeah! That's fucking sweet, dude. Well, there you go. You could buy old snake skins well, for your sack boys. Oh, right! Awesome! So you guys, like, Final Blood and Gets Video Games, right? How about Little Big Planet? It's totally narrated by Stephen Fry, man. Hey, hey, you like Manhunt, right? Well, how about a little of Hello Kitty's Island Adventure? How about Viva Piñata? Are you guys hardcore enough for Viva Piñata? Will you be my wife? Okay, so this is the It's the hard questions. Will you be my wife? The hardest hitting questions of all. Definitely hard. I mean, what? Shut up. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. She's really into Harry Potter, eh? Can you tell me where I might find platform nine and three quarters? Well, no, Harry Potter. I'm just so excited to meet you in real life. Can I have your autograph, please? It's just like, wow. So, so our manager is like recently divorced, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is where we're sitting. <laughs> we are now her emotional support. She has hired a Harry Potter cosplayer in order to engage with her staff. Interesting section. I might recommend you try the whole series. Well, we've the whole series. The whole series, not just part of it, like a weirdo. The same. I haven't seen the whole series. Part two. I got as far as the prisoner of Azerbaijan, and then I'm just like, this is not for me. Speaking of which, that is totally not the Chamber of Secrets, that is the prisoner of Azkaban, because look, there's a fucking hippogriff right on the back of the goddamn cover! I know too much about Harry Potter. You alright? Do you need your pills? Do you, do you have your dried frog pills? <laughs> Listen, they don't have those. Instead, they have Eye of Newt. Like, extract. <gasps> oh! Yeah. It, it, you just rub it right on the skin. It's really nice. I mean, so you're saying jelly lizard eyeballs are... Yeah. You know what? You're just as bad as those friggin' homeopaths <laughs> who are like, well, just boil up some ginseng. That'll cure your fucking... That's terrible! Go see a doctor. Don't boil up nude eyes. What's wrong with you? I'm trying to save money. Oh, oh, convincing mime. Convincing mime! Oh, man. <gasps> Blimey! Dude, <laughs> uh, that was actually legitimately funny. That that was pretty good. I, I chuckled. Dude, yeah. I chuckled. I'm a floating DVD. Hey, okay. Yep, yeah, yeah, you were done here. Let's move on. Yep, yeah, we're good. Time for Harry Potter to go away. You played that scene for laughs. Good job. Yeah. A legitimately funny scene in a training video. What's the world coming to? They did a really good job! <laughs> oh my god, look at his hat. It's nowhere close to his hat. Yeah, why is he wearing, like, Blossom's hat? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Luigi's a birthday! This is just Borat dressed up as Mario! This is bullshit! 
Maybe summer games, but the Mario don't have a lot of spending amount. Wait, 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 before you say anything, Mario, I don't know which thought is funnier. The fact that Mario has millions of millions, millions of dollars and doesn't want to get movies. a no, new game, game for his awesome. brother for his game birthday game because he's that game. cheap, game. or the yeah. thought that if he can't carry more than $99 because anytime he picks up another dollar, it just magically disappears, but he knows that he can fall down a pit and survive. <laughs> I'm actually in the middle of printing some associates, so maybe Brandon. I'm a little light on the ready cash! <laughs> Luigi, have just got some great Jesus news. Christ. Mario, Mario, you <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> Luigi went into a haunted mansion to save your dumb ass. This guy suggested Mario Kart to Mario. I, if I were Mario, I'd been like, I, Bitch, I was in the Mario Kart. I've had enough of Mario Kart. The, the production was hell. <laughs> Well, Bowser wouldn't here, stop eating beans. Mario's playing a PlayStation. Wow! Blast me! The fuck! And maybe our used movies. I thought he was like contractually obligated to only own Nintendo systems. I thought he would burst into flames touching a PlayStation controller. Yeah, it's like holy water to a vampire. <laughs> oh, maybe we might get some like Darth Vader or Luke Skywalker, or oh no, nope. 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 It's Doug and Drag again. Princess. I'm starting to think that this might actually be something he does on his off time as well as his on time. Dudes dressed up as ladies are hilarious. It's a well-worn comedy trope. And you know what? I'm going to say I'm not going to judge him if it is something he does on his free time. Whatever makes him more comfortable. That's very big of you. Darling, my life is science fiction. I need to escape. Yeah. You're my only hope. So Carrie Fisher was 19 when uh, when Star Wars was was made when she was cast, um, and it's it's kind of funny when you think about the sort of fake faux British accent she was putting on for Princess Leia. Because <laughs> she was just like, I gotta sound princessy, so I guess I'll just do that. I'm gonna sound like fucking Tyrion Lannister. Yes, I'll need some provisions. Popcorn, snow caps, wow, microwave popcorn provisions I'll for the rebellion. That's, that's wow. wow. Hey, okay. she's rebelling Maybe against she boredom with classic mm. movies like mm. The Notebook the and Four Weddings and a Funeral. Oh boy. Most people naturally want snacks. With naturally want snacks. They, I naturally want snacks. And like, it's fucking a dollar seventy nine for a single bar of candy. What the fuck? Yeah, you're a fucking idiot if you buy candy at the movie store. If there was still a movie store. If you go back in time, in a time machine, and go to a movie store, don't buy candy. Just go to the Max next door. Yeah. Hey Mario, y'all set? I'm all set to go. What the fuck is that? Is that like a, a stock movie mo or Hollywood video fucking? I I don't think so. I think it's an actual movie. It's an actual film something. It was some dude doing the thumbs up. I want to say it's a golf movie, or maybe that's like Dan Earnhardt Jr. Well, Did you get a great yep. Today. Yep. Why don't you convert the extra savings into a gift card? Why don't you convert yeah, your you the money that you that we convinced you to save into money that you're spending at our store? But that's so brilliant. Not actually saving any money at all. It's really smart though because it's like, well, I mean, we're not out the money. We're just going to get the money later with the gift card. It's brilliant. Yeah. those games back when you're done and trade them in. The My God. He, he, I will admit, he has a pretty cartoony like face, which yes. works well for Mario. I suppose, but... Mm, mm, I mean, it doesn't work perfectly, but I mean... You ever think about what Mario's skull looks like? Oh. Yeah. 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 Oh, and by the way, I should mention, uh, just to warn everybody, this is where it gets weird. Yeah. Oh. It yeah. looks like causality is breaking down. His impressions are so good that they are wearing the walls of reality thin, and he is seeing multiples of himself. That's great, though. They only had to pay once, so they got quintuplets. I know, right? You have good brain, Katie. So I buy many candies and corn poppings and fizzy waters. Fizzy and waters. Got fizzy waters. Yes. Corn poppings. Uh. Oh. 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 God. Oh. Ah. Oh, no. Borat. I don't even think you would go that far. 
Yeah, she's like 14 in the movie, dog. Something Excuse like that. Me. And pregnant, come on. Is this the genius that beat Voldemort? Hey, it just so happened. He, he, he so didn't beat Voldemort! It was Neville! Crazy, fucker! Wow, they're gonna. Very he needs a magic wand yep. in order to do his spells, and they're gonna sell him a Wii remote. Yeah! See how fucking far he gets with that Wii Motion Plus. Yeah! It actually doesn't work at all. Be like spellcasting an Okami. <laughs> it makes you feel better with we, we Motion Plus. I guess. Right? Listen, think. Act. Oh man. He's not using the fucking no! restra- Oh, the speaking of played out references. God damn it, I hate this fucking movie. This movie was probably the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. See, I laughed my dick off when I saw it in the theaters the first time, and then it was just everywhere. Like, I think, I think this, I think Napoleon Dynamite, or whatever the fuck it was called, I think it's barely a step above Troll 2. Wow. Yeah. That, those are some strong words, sir. <laughs> and I, I stand by them. <laughs> Barely better than Troll 2. Barely better than Troll 2. At least production value-wise, because at least Troll 2 was so bad it was enjoyable. <laughs> Alright, I mean... Last yeah. summer, I went hunting for wolverines in Alaska with my uncle. Now that was I a great example that of selling so much. even yeah. at the front of the store. It all starts when a customer walks in the door. Mm -hmm. you approach them, then you own them for life. <laughs> you know, sometimes when customers walk in the door, they just want to... Oh, the bus Spider-Man! Yep, those were the director's kids, I bet. But sometimes when a, when a person walks into a video store returning videos, they just want to fucking return videos. They don't want to spend any more money. Don't try to upsell every fucking person. Come on. That's why I carry around a, a super soaker full of cat pee. <laughs> They're like, oh, hey, so you oh, like... Oh, yeah, hey, remember the bagged pickles that you could buy? No? What? But yeah, though, that was a thing. Oh! We sold bagged pickles at Blockbuster, and they were disgusting, let me tell you. I just kind of glossed over that. Like, pickles. That must be an American thing. Y'all are weird. It must be. Like, we so we only sold them for a couple months in Blockbuster, but then again, we were only open for a couple months <laughs> after we started selling them. <laughs> Alright. Well. Uh, 2009, man. Uh, distribution is strictly prohibited. I'm gonna go to jail. Whoops. When I upload this, I'm going to jail. You're not... Dragging me down with you, you son of a bitch. Oh, uh, no, no, I'm gonna take you with me, man. No, I don't want to share a bunk. <laughs> don't worry. I'll keep you safe. <gasps>